Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for mid-April 2022. Uh, we're gonna jump right in here, Leo, and see uh, what is going on for you at this time. Uh, this looks pretty good already. I like this um, buffalo spirit because it represents abundance and that is a good thing. Uh, everybody's had the tower again for like the past two weeks. The tower has been coming up nonstop. So uh, to me, again, there just could be some sort of global, you know, there could be some collective tower moment going on, which I've been talking about for like two weeks now. Uh, but it's also showing up in your past position. So it's probably not that big of a deal. The other thing is, is that you have this Uranus card here. <laughs> Uranus can represent sudden change, sudden upheavals. Uh, like, you know, it's kind of like the planet of like revolution and things like that as well. So it wouldn't really surprise me if there was some sort of surprise change or if you're already experiencing a surprise change in your life in general. Uh, it kind of looks like a good change because you have two sixes here, six of cups, six of swords. If you've been watching me for a while, I you know, you know I love two sixes. To me, it says you're moving in the right direction, whatever it is you're doing. You know, if you're making a change, then it's the right direction. Even if you're not making a change, whatever you're doing is the right direction. So love it. You have the Two of Cups, the Tower, and the High Priestess. I mean, the obvious is that this could be a divorce or separation with the Two of Cups. So some of you could be going through a divorce or separation, um, or you could have experienced one recently. The High Priestess just says maybe you don't know why. There are mysteries with the high priestess. I'm really focused on the scroll that she is holding in her hand here. I'll show you right there. So uh, I feel that for some of you, this could have to do with communication for whatever reason. Uh, there could have been a lack of communication or surprise communication uh, in a relationship situation. You have the five of pentacles, which tells me as well that you were probably feeling left out in the cold, but you have the six of swords. So it's kind of like you're moving away from that energy. So like I said, I feel like this is a past tower moment that you have experienced. The The high priestess, she has this crown on her head right above my finger there. And it represents three stages of the moon. Sometimes I feel with the high priestess, it just represents kind of like the beginning in the middle and the end. Like she sees the beginning, middle and end of a situation intuitively. But she also could just see the beginning and the middle and the end of a situation as she wants it to be. Sometimes I feel with the high priestess, like one of the tricks with her is that we need to kind of imagine things as we want them to go in any situation. So it's like if you're trying to manifest something or if you're just working on anything, like a new project, new business, new relationship, I feel like kind of picturing it in your head as you want it to go, visualizing it would be extremely beneficial with that energy. Uh, again, you have the tower here, but I really just feel that this is talking about kind of like a surprise ending or just an unexpected ending that has happened for you. So uh, yeah, I just feel that it was probably unexpected. And also, by the way, I forgot to say this, like I said, definitely communication because this right here is a staff of Hermes right here in the middle between these two people and it represents communication. So I do feel like there's like a difference in the communication that has happened in a situation. So it could could have been a love situation or something else. And I feel like there's some sort of communication mix up or issue that happened that ended it in the first place. But again, it looks like you're moving on. For other, by the way, if you're looking for love, I feel like there could be love coming in for you. It looks like an air sign could be a Libra for sure here, Leo. Could be any sign, general reading. But uh, two of cups, six of cups, knight of swords. To me, this is like saying two of cups, they're meant to look different. And it, it's meant to represent someone who is very different than what you're used to. So there could be like a very different type of person coming in for you with the two of cups, something that you're just not used to dating, basically. Uh, next, you have the Buffalo Spirit it says you abundant universe will provide. I kind of get the feeling of things not going according to plan here um, financially. So some of you, I feel it's I just get the feeling of like something not working out as well as you wanted it to mm, <laughs> financially. I don't know what I'm seeing in my head right now. Like I feel for some of you, this could be a project or something. Next card, five of pentacles. Very interesting. You know, it's like I, I see something not working out in my head. That's the best way I could describe it. Feels financial to me. Could be a job, business. Maybe you tried to launch a project or something like that. Um, but I feel like th things are about to balance out, which is weird. Uh, because you have the five of pentacles. So feeling left out in the cold, six of cups in the uh, justice card. Justice, 
I feel like the justice card is kind of like reworking something. Justice is cause and effect. You know, of course it represents justice, but it can represent kind of taking a neutral approach. And right next to the justice card here, you have the high priestess. She has the B and the J on the card here and uh, it represents a bunch of things, but you know, it can also represent kind of like the good and the bad, or uh, it can represent the darkness and the, and the light. Uh, the two pillars here on the Justice card, they are gray, and gray in the tarot kind of represents neutral energy. I feel like if something hasn't worked out for you, or if you launched a project or did something and like didn't make money, or if it didn't do as well as you wanted it to, I feel like looking at it could actually, um, in taking a neutral approach saying, okay, like let's look at the good and the bad of this. It's almost like you're reworking something here. Justice is cause and effect. It's like if I do X, I, I get Y. So I feel for some of you, it's kind of like reworking a situation is actually going to lead to the abundance that is on that Buffalo card. And that would definitely be my advice uh, with the justice card. Again, if you're dealing with a divorce or separation, could also just be justice in that situation. With the Six of Cups, I feel like this is a gift from the universe. The Six of Cups is obstacles being removed from your life. Uh, not the traditional meaning of the Six of Cups, but intuitively I always feel that the Six of Cups can come up when we've been bumping up against obstacles to accomplish something, nothing works, and then we try something else and it works. <laughs> so it's like, it's a gift from the universe. We still have to do work. It's not like we're just magically things are going to work out for us. We still have to do the work, but it kind of says, try again. I feel like this is a problem. And I see this a lot is this right here. Tower, something didn't work out. Six of cups. The universe is like, okay, uh, try again. But 10 of wands being exhausted, not wanting to try again. So I feel for a lot of you, doesn't matter what area of your life this is, I feel like you need to try again. And um, this could be love, could be, for a lot of you, I feel like it's financial with the five of pentacles, like I said. And But I feel like you need to try something again. That doesn't mean you're returning to an ex, by the way, or going back to a person. Um, you know, to me, it says you're trying love again, you know, if it's love. If it's business, you, you could be kind of continuing on with your current business or career or job or whatever it is. But um, again, I feel like it's kind of like more figuratively saying, try again. Uh, you also have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. This guy has a bell around his neck and it just says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Focus on your strengths. Uh, in your last row, you have this November card and you also have this bat. It says, take care. Enemies are working against you. This deck is very dramatic. There are like a million cards in this deck that are like this. So you know, take it, take that with a grain of salt here, Leo. But uh, what I would say is I do feel like we are in a time of deception where there is a lot of deception going on around us. I feel like we just need to pay attention um, with that energy here. And there could be something happening for you in November. I want to see what this card is. You have the stork. It says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Exactly. The birth of something new, which is exactly what I was just saying with that 10 of wands. It's like this, it's almost like the universe is opening up a way for you to do do or try something again, but the Ten of Wands is um, being tired, <laughs> you know, so like needing to try again. Uh, in this row, you have the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. The Six of Swords is, of course, moving on to calmer shores, you know, being in choppy waters and moving away from those choppy waters. I feel like your guides are trying to guide you. This guy right here, the ferryman, he represents a guide. He represents someone who has experience going back and forth between the choppy waters. This could literally be a guide. Um, so if you have anyone in your life who you look up to, who's a mentor or anything like that, they could help you at this time. It uh, could also just be a guide, like, you know, a spiritual guide or something. So meditating all those things for answers is always a good idea with the Six of Swords. But what I really love about this reading, again, is this direction, Six of Cups to the Six of Swords. This is definitely uh, forward movement, definitely improvements, things getting better. So I feel like you're kind of heading in a good direction here. The Ten of Wands is kind of like a card that it doesn't really say don't give up, but you know, that's the Nine of Wands. But I do feel the whole don't give up energy on the Ten of Wands. Uh, I read intuitively and that's what I'm getting here. He's about to reach his house back here. And this represents his harvest. Like, yeah, it's a card of hard work. It's a card of having a lot of responsibilities, but that's his harvest. He has harvested all those wands and he's bringing them to you know his home. So it's kind of like a harvest. And I feel like this is saying, don't throw something away um, 
before you have your harvest. And I feel like we do this a lot, right? It's like I get a lot of comments, a lot of dramatic comments, not calling you out, but I'm just saying a little bit dramatic. But if, if you if you are one of those people that has left one of these comments where it's like people will be like, I'm never having love again. And it's like, okay, great. You're allowing like past people to control your life now, right? It's like they now live in your head rent free, as they say. They control your life. Someone who hurt you, right? By you saying, I'm never having love again. And it's a little bit dramatic. There are plenty of people who have very positive relationships. So what I would say here is it's, if it's possible and it exists, then you then you definitely shouldn't allow someone to control your life, right? So I kind of get that feeling here with the 10 of wands where it's like saying, don't get, throw an opportunity away because of past opportunities and or because of past things that have happened. You know, it's like that kind of, that the burdens he's carrying is like wisdom, knowledge. He grew those wands. It's like he knows how to do it. <laughs> so I feel for a lot of you, it's saying don't throw a good opportunity away. You have the Knight of Swords. Again, no rushing at this time. Even in this, uh, in you know, with all this this hot mess over here, Leo, uh, what I would say is that the Knight of Swords could, can be like rushing to anger, rushing to jumping to conclusions, verbal diarrhea, all those things, right? I would be careful of that with the Knight of Swords because... Uh, what I would say here is that, the, you know, we have Mars going retrograde. Will Smith, again, I, you know, I made the joke like last week that Will Smith clearly doesn't watch Middle Pontero because, you know, if he did, he would know Mars retrograde. Yes, it's happening at the end of the year or towards the end of the year, I should say, but it doesn't matter to me. To me, Mars retrograde years, no, no verbal diarrhea, no, no, um, you know, explosive anger, no nothing like that because it's going to bite you in the butt, right? And that's what I would say with the Nine of Swords. I'd be very careful of kind of having rushing to anger or forcing anything to happen. And I think it's a better time to kind of take more of the passive approach in conflict for sure. And that doesn't mean you allow people to walk all over you, but it does mean that you're level-headed. Let's put it that way. So I feel like level-headed approaches to everything are going to be very important. I would also say that this right here, the Nine of Swords to the Justice card can be kind of like trying to force karma to happen. So if someone have, has hurt you, you could be um, like hoping or wishing for karma or trying to do things to put karma on another person, which never works. I always tell people, it's like, you know how they say a watch pot never boils? Uh, watching, trying to watch someone get karma never never happens. Is I, I don't know, I need to come up with a better saying, but you get catch my drift. It's like, if you're wishing or hoping someone's gonna get their karma, then you're not trusting that the universe is gonna level things out. You're not trusting that the universe is gonna correct something for you, so then the universe doesn't do it because you're just like shooting visual arrows or you're shooting spiritual arrows at a person. You have to trust that the universe is gonna take care of it. You have to move on, right? So I kind of feel that for some of you, not all of you, but some of you, but uh, that's that, Leo. Uh, interesting to see where this goes. So part two is linked up down below in the description.